Hey folks, uh, I know you're just super thrilled uh, to see me twice in one day, but I have got to share this uh, with you. Uh, the gentleman that uh, owns this L39 uh, that I flew with this morning, we just got done uh, debriefing our morning hop, and we're going to go do another one. Actually going to do a little uh, flyby uh, of a uh, grass airstrip out uh, uh, to the west. The guy who uh, owns and flew this airplane, great American, actually a great Cuban American. You ready for this? This guy's name is Orestes Lorenzo. And when I was in, uh, now I'm dating myself, when I was on uh, spring break in Key West in 1991, this guy jumped in a MiG-23 in Cuba, took off, flew at low altitude, a couple feet above the surface uh, of the Gulf uh, or the Atlantic, kind of right in the middle there, uh, and came in and landed at Naval Air Station Key West. Now, this guy flying up, he's like, whiz, man, I was expecting to be shot down. I was expected to be intercepted. He landed at Naval Air Station Key West and pulled right up to the hangar. And this is, this is I can't believe I actually met the man who did this because uh, the squad, you know, so I was on spring break when this happened. I got commissioned as an ensign in the Navy at Jacksonville University that next month um, in a April. And I went to the squadron. Uh, I was assigned to the squadron where this guy pulled up that day. And they told this story. So the guy, one of the pilots of the squadron, VF-45, the Blackbirds, it was an adversary squadron at Naval Air Station Key West. One of the guys is walking down the, uh, the passageway, the second floor of the hangar, and he looks out and he's like, holy shit. He runs into the ready room and goes, hey, guys, there's a fucking MiG-23 out there. And they're all like, okay, dude, you're still drunk from last night. Just sit down. We got to brief. He's like, no, no, I'm not kidding. They run outside, and here's this Cuban pilot climbing out of his airplane like, Hello, America. Freaking fantastic story. Well, not so fantastic story. Uh, a lot of people got fired. Uh, the air defense sector of the United States, right? You know, a Cuban got airborne, flew into our country, and landed undetected. So a lot of people kind of got clipped because of that. But this guy uh, left his wife, Vicky, his beautiful bride, Vicky, and his kids in Cuba. But that's not what a man does, right? So what did this man do? He bought a Cessna 310. Marathon in the Keys, in the middle of the Keys is Marathon Airport or Marathon uh, Island. And you know what he did? He told his wife and his kids, he said, be on this dirt road in Cuba on this day at this time. That dude got airborne in that Cessna that day, flew at low altitude again, flew to Cuba, landed on a dirt road in Cuba. He said, he just told me, there he is over there in the hangar, getting, we're getting ready to go flying. He's like, dude, I landed, and here comes this truck. And he was convinced, he, you know, the Cubans, uh, you know, he had assumed that, the, you know, his family would have been locked up or uh, they'd be following him. And he's like, man, Wiz, I thought that was uh, that was it for me. That was the Cuban special police, and they were just going to kill us. Uh, I was resigned to, you know, getting killed. So he lands, and he almost hits this truck. This truck just kind of goes by and shrugs like, okay, well, an airplane landed on a dirt road. We're just going to ignore that. He, throw, he throws his wife and his kids in that Cessna 210 and hauls, back, hauls ass back to, uh, uh, to Marathon Key. Rescued his family. So I just wanted to give you a quick, uh, quick debrief on that. Got to fly with him uh, this morning. Hell of a pilot, man. Still, he's still got it. I think he, he said he's 65. Hell of a pilot. And it uh, was an honor, uh, honor to fly with him. And we're going to fly again uh, right now. We're going to go do a, a two-ship with, with an L-39 and an aerobatic plane as the lead. We're going to do kind of a VIC. Uh, a three ship and do a little flyby of this airfield so hopefully we'll have some video of that uh, later but i just wanted to share with that do me a favor and google his name and read this story it's epic arrestes uh, lopez cuban uh, cuban mig 23 uh, pilot it's real cool the uh so he's so the guys in the squadron said you know a couple hours after the mig landed a couple airplanes landed from some alphabet agencies they took the airplane in the hangar ripped it apart obviously probably put some things in it uh, but the funniest part about this whole experience was the squadron vf-45 and i think it was vaq-33 the squadron next door put all their stickers all over the airplane they're like whiz when that plane text a couple days later the cubans obviously demanded the, the the airplane get returned and obviously the pilot and he didn't go back but they flew a uh, a plane up with a pilot they hopped out, did a quick pre-flight, jumped in it, and uh, took it back to Cuba, that MiG-23. But you couldn't, my buddy told me, he's like, you couldn't see the paint job of that Cuban MiG because it had Navy, you know, squadron stickers all over uh, that airplane. So great story. 
great American. Uh, Flight by Morning. I, I forget the name of his book. It just went out of my head. Something Flight at Dawn or flight, whatever it is. Google it. Uh, check it out and check out this uh, this man's story. Great American uh, and uh, just a fantastic, fantastic day and meeting this guy. Okay. Have a great rest of your uh, your, your Friday. Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge and God bless. I'll uh, I'll talk to you guys later. We'll see you.